Hey everybody inside the red and welcome back to Shining Songs Zarnovo, which I did remember to press record. Yes, I did! Okay. <laughs> Alright then, last left off. Ah, yes, that's right. I, I did, yes, it was just after Julia had convinced Kado-chan that um, she hadn't actually done the dirty. Um, she didn't frickety frack with Kyle. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Um... And now, apparently, Karotan has, has managed to convince the rest of Zonovo to return to the studio in hopes that he can, I guess, try and sway people back into their good graces. We'll see how this is going to go, but considering the flash forward had blood and they were in a hospital and everyone was traumatized, I'm going to guess that's not going to be all sugar cookies and pumpkin seeds, whatever that means. By the evening, I had finally managed to convince the rest of the girls to return. I need to sit up straight in my goddamn chair because my back is already bad. Gathering them and somehow getting them past the media, a bit, a bit, a bit. Gathering them and somehow getting them past the media barricade was easy compared to trying to explain to them the truth of what happened at the Love Hotel. However, yeah, you don't say. Finally, after multiple explanations, some of the girls had more or less accepted our version of the story. Accepted or <laughs> just finally agreed to go along with it. I don't know. Some of them have. A couple of them are extremely cynical. A couple of the others, I mean, barring Julie, who is, of course, the source of the current scandal. <laughs> Thank goodness Julie did, really didn't cheat on producers on the call of son. Cheating here! There, there was no cheat. There, there was. They weren't a. Th okay, you know what? Oh, I would never be able to forgive you if you'd done something like that, you know. Salami. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> I know I have issues. <laughs> Most of the girls in this group have issues. But I don't want to give up. I don't want everyone to disband just because of me. Yeah, you should have thought of that before you went and tried to do your little thing, huh? Uh, so that's that, huh? Not that it matters, Jack. There's no way anyone's going to believe our side of the story. Look, we can deny anything happened at the end of time, but people already think Julie's a top bitch. That's the kind of stereotype she has. And out of all the scandals, the sex scandals, the absolute worst from Idol, you know. You might be able to survive with the scandals, but once the fans find out you're not a virgin anymore, then... It's just the way things are. Uh -huh. Maria's exactly right. People out there are fucked in the head, too. People out there are gonna believe in whatever is easiest to imagine. Like I said, they're fucked in the head, too. I'm sorry, but if I see Julia walking to a love hotel with some J-Rock pretty boy, there is only one conclusion I'm gonna draw from seeing that. How are you going to convince people otherwise? Yeah, that, that's a, yeah, uh -huh. how? I, I don't know yet. I haven't uh, thought of a magical way yet. I need to probably go find a lamp or something. But I do believe that in the end, the truth will emerge. In the end, the truth will be victorious. If nothing really happened between Julie and Kyle, then it's my job to stick with that truth. Huh. I want to bop you with a stick and toss you outside. Stop that. You know, in this business, the truth is whatever gets shouted the loudest. That's what happens. In, that, that, that's a lot. That, that, that's not just in this business. That's sadly quite a lot of the world, actually. Yeah. Then we better start shouting. And God damn, we'll do it at the top of our lungs. Loudly. <laughs> As expected, the producer's on. Uh, really? You don't seem... You just look concerned. Okay. <laughs> I knew it would not give up so easily. Did you? <laughs> Stop that. Now, Tan's not going anywhere. And my folk story did say to take everything in the paper with a pinch of salt. I reckon that a whole bunch of our fans are the same way. <laughs> if we just put some sweat into it, I think this is good. Uh, we can get this turned around. We can start selling that too, by the way. We <laughs> Indeed, it would be a shame for to disband in such circumstances. Let's all work together so that our fans see the truth of the story of uh, the true story of what happened. Blah blah blah. I can't read. Can't. Obviously, I never had any intention of quitting to begin with. <laughs> you sound demented. You sound like that. That giggle sounds like something you hear in a horror game coming from a dark hallway. I was just hoping everyone else would quit so that everyone could finally become a solo unit revolving around me, this Kashiwagiaki. <laughs> huh? Do whatever you want, because I'm not going anywhere. What about you, Maria? Uh, 
And it's not going to be easy. It's going to be damn near impossible. And don't think I'm not mad, because I am, you know. Seriously, I can't believe you do something like that. Fully aware of the risks. You seriously put all of us at risk, you know. I, I know. It doesn't do any good that you know now. Ugh, yeah. But I fucked him in the past too. On this level? I guess we're even. Besides, who do you think I am? Couldn't because of a scandal like this. <laughs> Back when I was in Quasar, there was a sex scandal every the week. Of course, everyone's fucking everyone else. You think you can just tell a bunch of hot-headed punks to ignore their hormones? Scandal is this level only to be expected. Just a regular Monday for a big Nemo unit. <laughs> Aki, with your past, that just makes me sound like you're trying to hide the pain. And yet, just moments ago, you burst into tears. The moment you left the office, your face is white as paper. <laughs> now I can't even show my face in public anymore. <laughs> Shut it, you shit lolly. Grab her, pick her up by the twin tails, and huck her outside. <laughs> Everyone? Mina? Despite our pep talk, the situation was still dire. After the people from the media went away for the night, I loaded the girls into the company van and drove them to various hotels around the town so they would not be tailed to their homes. Given the severity of the situation, I had to ensure that every precaution was being taken. And after all, people were still demanding our blood on the internet because they were fucked in the head. Nowadays, people thought they could just say whatever outrageous thing they wanted as long as it wasn't face to face. Yeah, the internet anonymity, uh, all that. Gives you that false bravado. I want Julie to her hotel room. I don't know how to put it into words, but sorry. Well, no, that is putting it into words, but it's just, you know, you can't really say anything else besides sorry. And I fucked up and now we have to try and dig our way out of the hole we buried ourselves in. All right. But honestly, I'm not the only person angry at you right now. And I am the person with the least amount of right to be angry considering the fact that my livelihood doesn't necessarily hinge. Well, that, never mind. Ellipses. I'm just relieved everyone just have to stick around for now. <laughs> Despite everything being my fault, nobody yelled at me or shouted at me to take responsibility. Hey, don't you think I'm really getting off too lightly? I... I really just good at producer. I guess... I really am getting nothing but messing things up. Sigh. I'm not gonna disagree with you. You really did let me down. You let all of us down, more importantly. But we're still in this as a team. This isn't just about you. Which is part of the problem, yes. Starting out with all the girls. All this time, I was thinking of just myself. I guess it never ever occurred to me just how much I was relying on my teammates. How much I was relying on you, producer. I was such an ungrateful baby. At this rate, I don't think I can continue to serve as the unit center. It should go to someone who actually deserves it. Someone like me isn't fit to be the center of Star Nova. Julie, it's only appropriate, isn't it? At the end of the day, the people are going to want to see me get punished. It's all right. I'm finally being demoted because of the scandal. In fact, I'm asking you to do it. In the end, it was the only appropriate decision. The demotion was going to make the fans more likely to cool down and forgive the unit as a whole. We could refocus our PR on one of the girls. If a girl with a clean, angelic image like Sasami were to be chosen in the new center, we could refocus public dialogue on our new center, while Julie could just wait out the storm in the spotlight. In the end, I had no idea if I could ever convince the people that Julie had and stopped with Kyle. And regardless, the bottom line was that she still got drunk and tried to seduce him. Demoting Julie might be unavoidable at this rate. I haven't made a decision about that yet. But right now, you're right that something big is to be done to restore the public's trust in Sarnova. I sighed and leaned against the railing. Are you going to make me choose, by the way, if we should demote her or not? I just have this feeling that this is leading towards. I... Uh, look, in the people's mind, being an idol is more... Every rat has a decision. I'm <laughs> randomly cutting back to... Every rat has one choice. I'm, I'm just waiting now for that one to get dropped on me and for me to be screwed over again. 
Look, in the people's mind, being an idol is more than just being a hot piece of merchandise. Motion to the glittering cityscape before us, sweeping, our, sweeping my arm across the countless millions of people living before us. It's a tough life out there. The people want an escape from their everyday problem-ridden existence. The sad truth is that people are spoiled. If they're single, they're dissatisfied they don't have a girlfriend. If they're dating, they're dissatisfied because their girlfriend isn't as great as they imagined. And if they're married, they're dissatisfied with their spouse for whatever reason. People want to at least imagine the perfect girl exists for them somewhere. We're supposed to be providing that experience. And if anything happens to break that illusion that someone's idol isn't the flawless marionette they had in their heads, then that's when all hell breaks loose. <laughs> what you're basically saying is that you're feeding a bunch of delusional people a very, well, a delusion. And that it's, we have to suffer the consequences when they act like children. <clears throat> I rub my own head in frustration. Uh, well, that's what we've all signed up, signed up for. Basically, I'm just saying people are counting on you. Some people are really so depressed their lives that their belief in their idol is the only thing keeping them alive. Being an idol is bigger than yourself. Everyone's counting on you to do your job right. I never even thought of that. I guess I'm not so good at being an idol. Well, no one's going to be an expert from the beginning. Let's treat this as a learning experience. A very hard bought learning experience, but yeah, sure. Okay, producer. Anyway, it's already late. Come on, let's get you checked in. You better rest up while you still have a chance. We're gonna have to work our tails off starting for tomorrow. All right. With that, we got to, we, we got a nice little, you know, shot of the starry night sky. With that, I walked Julie over to the hotel and left her for the night. However, that didn't mean that my work was finished. Already in my mind, the plan had formulated. I plan to save everyone from this scandal and restore the public's trust in Starnova. I rushed back to the office and got to work. Oh. Given the severity of the situation, Shining Productions did so much to waste no time in coming up with a coordinated PR response to the allegations in the papers. But the next day, the girls and I had already arrived at the cinema building for a press conference. Beside me, as she terrorized, stood with Kyle and the rest of the members of Quest as well. I took the microphone and began the conference. Ellipses. Regarding the story running in various tabloid productions that Watanabe and Julie San shared sexual relations with Kyle San, Tiny Production denies all of the allegations. The reporters gathered in the room grumbled in the unison. We have performed our own investigation and found that Watanabe San had too much to drink that night. Kyle San, concerned about Nabe San's well being, checked her into a local hotel, uh, hotel bleh, unaware that it was a love hotel. Of course, we are aware that what Nabe San's choice that night have caused our fans great concern, and for that, Chang Productions and all the girls at Sarnova offer our deepest apologies. At that moment, I bound forward along with the rest of the girls as we dev were devoured by a lightning storm of flash photography. Makeup. As soon as I raised my head, I was assaulted by all signs from, uh, by the, from all signs by the reporter's questions. That's true. You also don't have any, well, never mind. You don't have any proof that it happened. We don't have any proof that it didn't happen. You can't prove a negative anyway, blah, blah, blah. You didn't think that one through, did you, Kato-chan? I raised my hand, trying to calm the reporters down. In the end, this is the best explanation we can muster. Bullshit! You weren't gonna believe, believe us if we denied everything and pretended that Julia did nothing wrong. They wanted to see us apologizing and admitting wrong. Yeah, but you could have come with a better story that wouldn't have been, you know... That wouldn't have conflicted with a photograph of her pushing Kyle into the hotel. Every night already not... Uh, Everyone already knew that Julie was a more wild, un-Japanese image. Her fans could still forgive her if all that had happened was that she went to a bar and gotten drunk. Nothing more than that had happened, everything would be all right. <laughs> really, no one outside the group, honestly. That, that, yeah, no one outside the group. More importantly. Uh, 
Oops. I'm sorry. That's why I always wait. Okay. Damn tough crowd. I was expecting getting anyone to believe the truth is going to be a hard sell, especially because uh, the truth wouldn't sell as well. At this rate. Clams the hand over Don's mouth. Shut up! I'm waiting for the worst right now. Just. I gulped. In the end, I couldn't come to a decision as whether to demote Julie. The decision rested solely on her shoulders now. I clenched my fist, praying that my gambit would work. It's leading up to something. What's it gonna be? Is it gonna be her stepping down? Is something else? No. The reporter's murmured in surprise as Kyle suddenly grabbed a microphone. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, I kind of started to wonder if that was what he was going to say. At first, I thought it was just going to be a, I didn't sleep with her. But then when he started to say there was a reason, that was the first thing well that popped into my head that he'd probably end up saying uh on that bombshell <laughs> i'm going to call the episode here um okay uh thank you very much for watching i hope you that, but what but what did i did i just actually speak properly no i can't I, thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it next time we'll see how this turns out and how eventually something goes apparently goes terribly wrong more so. <sighs>